everybody. Um, Your Excellency, Ambassador of Greece. Your Excellency, High, Excellency, High Commissioner of uh, Cyprus. Thank you for attending tonight. A uh, big thank you to the academic community in CAS for having us um, tonight. We have developed a great relationship over the years, and we're very thankful of that. And esteemed guests, uh, thank you for coming tonight to the uh, second Greek Energy Forum Awards. Um, tonight we have a, a green energy uh, category, and I guess in 2008 it's quite obvious that we will have um, a, a Greek en green energy winner. Um, back in 2013, when we started the forum, actually it wasn't very obvious. The reason was, out of the uh, four founding members, the three of us, we were working for oil majors, and the fourth one was a consultant for oil majors. And um, I have to say that uh, back then, partly because the Greek Energy Forum was new, and we didn't know what we were doing, and uh, partly because it was easy for us, we focused on oil and gas uh, mostly, um, either using our personal knowledge or using our personal network. Um, very quickly, though, uh, in our events, we received um, feedback that we're missing a big chunk of the energy uh, sector. We were told um, we were not presenting on power markets and we're not presenting on renewables. Uh, we took that feedback uh, and I'm very happy to say that uh, very active members of the Greek Energy Forum tonight are young and experienced professionals in the renewable sector, in the power markets, the power sector and the renewable sector, which on its own is very active, is undergoing massive changes uh, at the moment. Aguilo spoke about the energy transition, tra transition and the symbolism uh, behind, it, behind it. It's a, it's a huge uh, step change for the um, energy um, sector. Um, so I'm very happy, I won't uh, delay you anymore, I'm very happy to announce that the winner is the UNIS group. Congratulations. It's a great honor and pleasure to be here today and also to receive this uh, um, prize from uh, Greek uh, Energy Forum. It's uh, the first time we were invited and we think that we should continue uh, to support this initiative taking place in London and we do hope that renewables uh, will be part of an uh, energy uh, environment in the coming future which is advancing already. A few things about um, TILOS project, which has been already a winner today. TILOS project is a project uh, performed in a remote island of uh, TILOS in Dodecanese. Um, the project is comprised of a small wind turbine, uh, 80, 800 kilowatts nominal capacity, and a PV station of 160 kilowatts. But of course, it combines also uh, short-term storage via battery. This, th this project, the total project, was um, uh, co-financed by the European Union as an innovative project. Uh, UNIS Energy Group actually uh, invested in total for the wind turbine and the PV, uh, above 1.5 million euros. The UNIS Group is strongly supporting such schemes and such systems because energy, com energy production and storage in um, short-term um, storage like batteries could be the future because, first of all, renewables is, are having a large penetration so far, but uh, it's intermittent and fluctuating. Thus, most of the times are creating problems to the network. But with this system as Tillos, with the short-term storage, then we do hope that these, these problems will be eliminated because, first of all, uh, we do have the control of our own system. And energy, renewable energy becomes uh, the base unit and the base load 
to serve the people there. The Telos project, of course, has also some other features which were not actually very much been demonstrated. These are forecasting. We do have a very sophisticated forecasting system in order for us to be able to forecast the production of the renewables in the coming hours or even days, uh, although if you increase the days, <laughs> the <laughs> you don't get very much accurate results. But anyhow, forecasting is one feature. And the second one is demand side management. Demand side management helps for us to operate this small microgrid in the way to, to, to increase the penetration of renewables and have it on top and to operate the system in a greener way. Uh, some words about uh, Unis. Unis is a Greek uh, owned company owned by Mr. Kalavrusiotis. Unfortunately, he couldn't attend to this event. Uh, I'm representing him. I'm Zizimos Mantas, Chief Business Development Officer actually focusing on developing our business uh, portfolio. We do operate 80 megawatts of wind farms in Greece and another 1.5 megawatts in photovoltaics. And we do have versatile activities also in the trading, energy trading business. And uh, now we are also running our retail energy in Greece. Further on, we have inaugurated a, a small factory producing small wind turbines of 50 kilowatts in Greece, which is uh, a very large step forward. And we do have this opportunity to serve small wind turbines to the energy market, which are constructed and manufactured totally in Greece by Greek hands. So thank you very much. It's been a pleasure and an honor. And uh, again, the committee and the Greek Energy Forum for this reward. Thank you again.